likes of Mini and Mini is the fact that the interior is definitely a little quirky. I mean, look at that door over here. The fact that the speedometer is in the center of the gauges instead of up in the normal space above the steering wheel. There's a lot of little quirks to the interior of the car, and one of them, partially because of size and partially because I'm thinking it was just a conscious decision, is the car has no center console in between the two seats. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to find one of that I'm aware of three different options that are out there for adding a center console to your Mini, and today we're going to go over that. This one... I'm going to be honest with you, I have no idea what brand it is, I have no idea where it came from, but I'm going to go over it, so if you come across one, this is the one that I personally think is the best. The other two options that I'm aware of is there is a mini official center console. that has nothing except for an armrest, which honestly is the main reason that I wanted to have a center console. On long drives, you really start to notice the fact you have nowhere to put your right arm. I was sitting it in the passenger seat, just kind of having it outstretched, and it really didn't feel good. So I went ahead and got myself a center console. The mini unit bolts back here in between the two seats, and it folds out and folds up. It does not interfere with the handbrake at all, and they're not exactly cheap. You can find them used, but they're not very cheap. Some of the cars came with them, some of the cars didn't. It just depends on which car you end up buying. Then there is another option from an aftermarket Mini manufacturer who has made one specifically to address some issues with the Mini. It mounts into the rear cup holder. It retains usage of the rear cup holder, and it also offers the ability for this top section here to slide forward, and you'll have a little cup holder in there, but it does not open up like a normal center console. So you have an option of an added cup holder, and you have the armrest function, but that's it. You're not going to have any access to the inside of it, so it's not going to provide the storage the same way that you'd want. So I do think it's a very nice unit. It looks very nice. It's going to blend in with the car well. And and it is adding some more functionality in the stock mini piece. However, the reason I went with this one is number one, first and foremost, I found it used on eBay and it was very cheap. So that was the main focus. And it is a bit of a cheaper product. It doesn't 100% match the factory pieces. You can see that the leather on here is a darker black than on the seats. And you can see here the plastic it's a little bit shiny. It doesn't quite match this plastic over here, but it is close enough that if you're not looking for it, no one is ever going to notice. But the thing it does that I like the most is it will open. So I can open it up. I can store things in it. I can put, you know, my car's insurance and registration and an auxiliary cord, a mask because of Corona. I can put whatever I want in there and store it. And then I can also lift the whole piece up if I want to put the handbrake on. Normally, if I'm on relatively flat ground, because of this, instead of using a handbrake, I just park in gear. If I'm on any sort of hill, I'll move this out of the way and pull the handbrake. But it does well at the two jobs that I want it to do. It'll store things, and it will also work as an armrest. The main negative to this piece, if you do come across it, is it is sealed by a magnet up here at the top. Now, the way I got it, it did not seal very well. If I turned it vertical, all of my things would fall out. So it was not a very functional piece when I got it. But what I did was I added a little piece of metal to the top to give it a little bit of something extra for the magnet to latch onto. And then I put some pieces of felt in between them so that even though the magnet is latching strongly, it's easy enough to break loose with one hand. So I can put my thumb on the side and pull up. I don't have to use two hands to open it up. I wish it did have some sort of button on it and a latch system. I think that would work a lot better. Because what happens now, if I pull up on it, the whole piece comes up, but I can easily unlatch it with one hand now. So it's definitely better than it was. I've got a little bumper down here because this was sitting a little bit low and it kind of absorbs some of the shock if this drops down. It is attached by two screws on either side into the center tunnel here, so it's not super secure. If I wiggle it back and forth, it will wiggle the whole center console with it. However, in a compression, which is where you're going to put most of your force by leaning your arm on it, it does extremely well. 
I haven't had any issues out of it once I kind of figured out how to work around it a little bit. So while it is definitely not as good as something that would have been designed from the factory and integrated into the interior, it does work extremely well. You just kind of have to learn to work around it. So you're going to have to lift it up if you want to use the handbrake. I did also have to notch it. You can see here in the middle, I've added a little bit of a notch right here, so that that way, if I pull the handbrake all the way up, it does not contact it, so that is something I did have to modify. But overall, it does work surprisingly well. So if you are just getting into a Mini, this is definitely something I would look into. There are a few different options out there, but the biggest thing is you're gonna want somewhere to lean your elbow on long trips. The extra storage isn't too big of a deal. The glove box is pretty generous on these cars, and of course you have little bits of storage in each door. But I have not been able to figure out who makes this. I would definitely recommend at least going on eBay and looking up Mini Cooper center consoles. You can type in R53 or R50 or whatever you've got. But definitely look that up because you might stumble across something like this that someone else, another company that's no longer manufacturing them, has sold and someone's selling it used. Because that's how I found this one. And it is definitely, in my opinion, the best one that is out there for what I want. But that might not be the number one choice for other people. So you can look at the mini one and you can look at some of the other options that are out there. Of course, if you guys have any questions about this center console or any comments, or if you know of one that I am not aware of and you want to put it down in the comments, you know, I can pin that comment so other people can find it. I wish Mini had put a little bit more effort into this to try and integrate a center console into the car, but luckily the aftermarket has come to our rescue and has added some options for us. So of course, if you have any questions, feel free to drop those below. You can hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next week.